That was Michael W. Smith with The Stand. Here on your radio station, AM 930 The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, it is time to go to prayer. And we're heading into the weekend, and it's TGIF. Thank goodness it is Friday. And we're also heading into the weekend where different congregations and pastors are going to be proclaiming the word and meeting together. So, Father, today, first of all, we pray for every proclaimer of the word. Would your power, your authority, your anointing, your enablement, your wisdom, your clarity, and your boldness would come upon each one. And Lord, again, we thank you for each and every congregation. They are different expressions, but Lord, all are desired, or I should say, designed, O oh God, to bring you into community. So we thank you for that today. We also thank you that, Lord, the Bible does tell us in Daniel 9.23 and Daniel 10.12 that even before the request is out of our mouth, the answer is already on the way. So thank you today that you are Jehovah Jireh. It is the last day of the month, and we know that, Lord, you are going to supply every need according to your riches and glory. And we thank you, Lord, for that wonderful provision. We also thank you for your wonderful healing touch. 1 Peter 2.24 and Isaiah 53 verse number 5 is the scriptures that we stand upon today that says, by your stripes we're healed. So Lord, thank you today for your wonderful healing touch and how that Lord right now you are going to not just heal ourselves but Lord our family and friends today and we thank you for that today. We also thank you that Lord as we head into the weekend would you give journey mercies for those who will be traveling and thank you Lord as well for our professional drivers whether they're Uber or taxi or bus drivers or, you know, long haulers or short haulers. Either way, Lord, thank you for each one of them because, Lord, they are the ones that supply and keep us moving. So, Lord, give them journey mercies today and also as well protect them as they're on the road today. As well, Lord, we lift before you our caregivers and those that, Lord, are not able to get out are seniors and shut-ins. We pray that, Lord, today that you would be with each one of them. And Lord, in those times of discouragement where things are overwhelmed, maybe a little bit, uh, the situation is beyond what we're able to endure, you gave us a wonderful promise that you'll not allow us to be tempted beyond what we're able to endure, but with the temptation, a means of escape. So Lord, thank you today for these wonderful promises. Lastly, Lord, we ask that you would order our steps. David reminds us in Psalm 37, 23, that the steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. So would you order our steps today? And we thank you, Lord, for the blessing that we are and the blessings that are in our lives. And we thank you for all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen.